Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use quick test professional for automating your tests. It is functional tool for regression testing. So first we will open QTP then we will discuss uh, quick test professional step by step. you will see add in manager this manager will give you option for selecting the add ins that are for specific type of applications like java dotnet wpf video basic web services etc just click on ok it will take some time to open qtp now that QTP is open you will find welcome note and what's you note you can disable that from don't uh, show this page again now you have to check the two toolbars at the top one is showing you new open and another is for record button just go to the record buttons toolbar and then click on new test you will also find that there is few other options for you as well in the welcome tab where uh, you can see that it's a small set of icons available right now just click on new and then click test new test so that we can perform our uh, other observations for quick test professional now just open click on new icon then click on new test you'll find that there is keyword view and expert view there is also a data table with two tabs global and action whatever actions that we are performing are going to be in the tab here each action will be shown here step by step under this action tree you can go to expert view and see the code for those actions you can also write the code here and execute your test this data sheet which we can use for parameterization and to adding more parameters in our test objects these two sheets global and action are for that purpose 
then you have this record button which will open this dialog box you can open this dialog box with the help of record option which is F3 or record and run settings which will open the same for which you can run test on web browser by clicking those two options same with windows application you can give the path or you can let's say open any current application and run the test now that you have done it let's just take a look at data table and our other options as you can see this is similar to the spreadsheet we are going to give parameters and these parameters can be exported in excel form format which is excel format you can also import those parameters in any other test Likewise, there are some other tabs like Active Screen, To Do, Resource, and Available Actions. Available Actions is the left side pane which will show you the list of actions that are available to you. Also, you will find there is Resource option To Do. This will open this dialog pane and you can click on it see the task editor your subject assigned to assign priority task details just like you do in quality center you can do the same here to limited extent of course you can also assign comments to particular tests short or long tests You can also check the current status of these to do items. these are pretty much the options for QTP we'll go through e each one of them step by step later I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial so far in the future I will come up with few more tutorials to explain QTP better till then goodbye